Hey guys, it's Gina with Why Fiction Freaks, and I'm coming to you to do another review on book two of the Gallagher Girls series. Um, I want to show you book... Sorry, my computer's doing crazy things. I want to show you book one. I already did a review on this, so if you want to go check that out, you can look it up. I tell you I love you, but then I'd have to kill you by Ally Carter. This is the first book, so you can watch my review on that if, if you're interested. This is, um, whoops, <laughs> not book two. This is book two, Cross My Heart and Hope to Spy. Um, the first book I thought was a little on the girly side, but I, re I did really enjoy it and getting to know Cammie and her friends at the school and the, the whole spy element I really liked. And so I, I wanted to go on to book two. Book two even is better. Um, I love these books, love these books. Um, book one was more about Cammy um, accidentally meeting a guy named Josh and when she's in town and she's trying to keep the secret away, uh, trying to keep the secret that she is an actual, um, in a school that go, that, that where they're learning to be spies. So she's trying to keep that secret. And so the book's pretty cute, but book two has mystery elements to it that you don't really know what's, how everything's going to end up until the end. It's, it's really good. Um, and of course all the spy elements are there, which I love, um, finding out how they learn about spies and the different things that they're, they're teaching them and that they think about. Um, the author really makes you fall in love with Cammy and her friends. Cammy's the main girl. And, um, I love, what she thinks. I love what she says. I love her reactions. So I really like this book. Um, there's boys that come to the school in this book. Um, there, they find out that there actually is a boys spy school, which is funny because the first whole book I kept wondering, is there going to be, if there's a girl's school, by school, there's got to be a boys. So, um, and I was funny that I thought that that was funny that it wasn't mentioned in book one, but of course, book two, that's what it's about. And then, well, not totally what it's about, but boys come to the school. So it gets really interesting. And there's one particular boy, um, and he is kind of mysterious and, and cool like, and so it's really good story. And, um, I can't wait to, get to book three. I'm going to start that tomorrow. So if you watched my first review on these books, I'm actually listening to these on my way to work, um, as an audio because I have a, an hour drive to work every day and an hour drive home. So I'm listening to these, but I actually, I did buy book one and I'm, and I'm buying all the books because I want them to be on my bookshelf. I love the covers. They look so cute. Um, I wonder if the author comes up with these names, these titles, because I love them. And I love how they're laid out. Um, you can get kind of a visual of Cammy. Um, but this was a really good story. Like I said, it's got mystery, it's got action, it's got comedy. Um, it's just really intriguing and interesting, and I loved it. I give um, this book four stars. It was probably a five at times for me because there were times when I was thinking about the characters and when I couldn't wait to get back in the car and start listening again. But I give it a four because fives, I feel like those are the kind of books that are five stars that I could recommend to anybody and that I really think that they didn't like the book if they read it. Um, these, I'm not real sure about boys and guys reading them um, because they are kind of on the girly side, but yet... Like I said, book two brings actual boys to the school, and I just really don't know if guys would like them. So if any of you guys out there have read these or tried them, comment below and let me know. I would love to know that. But also, um, I know for a fact that tweenies 10 to 12 would love this book. I think younger teenagers would love it. I'm not real sure about all older teenagers or people, older people like adults. Uh, women who are maybe not so young at heart. Um, I'm pretty young at heart, so I love these books. So I'm not real sure if they're for everybody. That's what I'm trying to say here. So um, four stars, definitely. I definitely recommend 
these books. Um, so tomorrow I'm starting book three, which is Don't Judge a Girl by Her Cover. And again, it's such a cute cover. I love how they do the wording on the titles. And then book four is coming out. I'm going to hold this one up so it'll get a good picture on the video. <laughs> um, book four is coming out on January 15th, which is um, not too far along. And like I said, I am listening to these on audio and the library probably won't get it that quickly. So I won't be able to wait, I know, because I loved, really liked book one, loved book two. I definitely just feel like I'm going to love three. So um, I'm not going to be able to wait. So I'm probably going to just buy um, the fourth book when it comes out in June. And I'll probably be reading that instead of listening because I won't be able to wait for the audio. Audios are too expensive. So I don't buy them. I just get those from the library. So can't wait till that's out. But tomorrow I'm excited. I'm going to start the Don't Judge a Book by its cover. So I really recommend these guys. They're they're really good. Um, these are the kind of books that I heard um, another YouTuber talking about the um, the uh, Pretty Little Liar series and saying that she just they were just like cocaine. You could just sniff them and <laughs> they were uh, so addicting. This is how I feel about these books. These are just, I could just eat them up. They're so cute. Um, just a great series and clean series too, which I like. There's not like mature, um, overly mature stuff in them. There's no bad words. I mean, really clean books that are just amazing. I just, I just love them. So, um, also I'm getting ready to read High Society, which is Allie Carter's new book that just came out recently, um, about a girl who grew up with a family of thieves. So I can't wait to get started on that too. So, um, that's my review guys. And I hope you'd give them a try because four stars. So happy reading guys. Bye.